Hi guys, um, just playing with a new setup. As you can see, it's been really toned down and that's because I pulled this wonderful thing out of my storage space downstairs. Turn it around. And it pretty much has most of my supplies. Um, I put cardboard around the back of that so I can pile up Oh, here comes the dog, so you'll probably hear them. There's one. So I could pile up the paints and they don't fall off the back. Here's Cleo. She's usually the loud one. And then my, I got all my paints together. This is my other space right here. So I used an Amazon box and all the paints are in there. They're stuffed down there. And then I just am down to that little space that holds my canvases. There's Cleo. There's Hollister, and there's Ella. So you're probably going to hear the dogs. I am going to do two canvases today. Um, I got some, I'm going to do some pinks with black, and I'm going to do a black. I'm going to redo these coasters, too, because I am not happy with them at all. This was like a swipe. Not happy. So I'm going to do something else with them. So I'm going to... Put you on hold and uh, come back to you. Uh, I'll be right back. Hi guys. So I actually have two cameras going today because um, I want, well I learned a very valuable lesson yesterday since I am just doing it on my iPhone, um, which I actually like the view because it's clipped into um, uh, the new gadget that I got from Amazon um, and yesterday when I did my fourth um, piece in my bright series uh, what I didn't realize is when a phone call comes in because I didn't have it on you know sleep mode or whatever you call it um, <laughs> that um, it stops recording <laughs> and I didn't have my second camera going because uh, I thought, oh, you don't really need one, and I didn't videotape any of the green series. I'll, I'll, I'll put a snap up of it because it, it. I'm so sad because it came out beautiful, but I think a lot of it. to do with the color choices so um, so this is the fifth in my series and today I'm gonna do pinks purples and uh, I am gonna throw my little teal in there um, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited for today so I did mix a couple colors and since I you know I don't always keep track so um, this one is artist loaf light magenta and it's really creamy and pretty and kind of like raspberry so I'm going to use that one I'm going to use my pink my um which I I definitely have in one of the other videos this is like this is the color that I I don't remember the name of it I'm sorry because I used the whole bottle um this would be the color when I was painting faces that would be the skin so I have that I have this one which is a Martha Stewart purple which has got the pearl thing going um, this is my hot pink that's from folk art it's the pink neon so I actually had that one so I was able to explain that this is my new metallic teal I think it looks metallic so I think that's what that is um, and then I, I this is very old I have no idea <laughs> how long I've had this probably so this might not do anything but it's Martha Stewart glitter purple paint it is purple crocus um, I don't even know if she still makes this I have no idea and um, I'm interested to see what it does it's got like a because when it dries the perp the glitters in it so I'm interested to see what happens with that one 
Um, I might go very late on that just because I'm a little nervous about how that's going to play out. Um, and then my last one is this Bare Ultra where I have this custom color. Um, we were just, I, I, these are old because I we were doing colors in my daughter's room when she was probably, she's 20, I would say about at least 10 years, but they hold up. And then I just have possibly a, a couple other purples here. I have already taped off the back and put the push pins in. Um, my, I showed you guys my new organized cart, hopefully already. I just didn't pull the white pin out. So the one thing that I was really upset about yesterday that it didn't, it didn't videotape is I finally got the consistency of my white paint to be watery to the point that I could um, blow it around on the canvas. So I'm, I was very happy about that. So let's see. I don't know if this is, I, I'm, I'm not even gonna mess around with it adding water because this was like last night, so it shouldn't be that thick. We're just gonna go right into it. And I, I don't have any more meat, so I hope this is like a perfect consistency. And I can tell you right now that this is probably not gonna blow around, but we're gonna try it. about that let's just smooth it out with the spatula I like a lot of white paint on it you know I know that it ends up being a little messy but I'm okay with that oh I just realized I didn't get my torch I gotta go get my torch let's see you know I am noticing these gallery canvases aren't really that level like the edge that like it scoops up like that I don't know I don't think it's supposed to do that so it's kind of irritating me um, okay now my torch was acting very weird yesterday it wasn't really torching and I can't see on the side yeah it's doing it again It is not torching. I don't know what's happening with that. I gotta figure that out. But we got it to work right now. So, all right, let's go. Dark purple. Let's do the raspberry pink. Love that color. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna do a little of the glitter. <laughs> Let's hope for the best on that. Okay, I'm gonna put the teal. Okay. I'm gonna do the hot pink. Okay, you gotta be careful with that hot pink because a tip, it, anything that I. I put it on it tends to like completely overtake it so I always get a little worried with that and I'm gonna end it back off with the same purple all right um, I just want to drizzle a little black in here Okay, probably a little more than I wanted to, but let's do the white puddle. Right, in the blow dryer, 
Ready? Okay, let's let that sit for a moment. I'm gonna put some gas in here because I really am hoping that this thing isn't broken already. I've literally only had it for like two weeks. It sounds like the gas is going in. So at the same time, see, I used to be able to see it on the side. I don't know what's happening. I gotta go. It is definitely, something's up with that. So, okay. God. So, the Bright Series, I'm going to want chunks of white here. Um, I'm probably going to go like this first, and then maybe even go like that. Let's see what happens. love this this is a little too much pink here for me I think I'm gonna just drizzle some blue of the teal in here with a little more of the purple I mean you're not gonna see the glitter come out in that glitter paint until it dries so who knows what that's gonna look like let's do a little white and let's see what that does and I could even blow it because I really like this I don't I kind of don't want to mess that up that kind of screwed it up all right we are going to I shouldn't have done that because that was all the black so we are going to drain the color a little actually I hate not having a cup there here Now I like this, so what I think I'm going to do now, besides clean my hands right now, is I'm going to get a little more color here because this is the black and that pulled the black that way. I'm going to drip a little more. And that might even be the uh, glitter paint that's just so look right now. A lot of 
paint, a lot of paint. Let's see. just doing this because I have those big you know from when I poured you know tilted it last time I just want those to come down on top of this new stuff so it looks very natural which it is doing I should turn it turn it to you guys so you can kind of see it a little sorry all right that's where we are. Um, let's see. I think. Okay, so first let me fix this because I just put my thumb in there. All right. nice. I like that. I like that. I just want more white here. I mean, I, I would normally not be a fan of this here, but because this is a bright series, I wanted, you know, I would want it a, a little more white there. Gonna expand that white right there. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's hopefully something is wrong with my burner. It's acting like there's no gas in here. That's what it's acting like. All right, I don't, I don't know what to do here. I mean, nothing happened to the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out what happened to the burn, the torch, and I'm gonna torch that, or I'm gonna buy a new torch because I don't want to take any chances. But since that's only two weeks, hopefully it's under warranty. I got it at Amazon. want to make sure that there's white here because it keeps going away and there we go now I don't know how much more painting I'm going to get done if I can't torch um there are cells in here but very little ones um I'm, I'm still using some paint that has the silicone in it that has probably been, you know, stirred and stirred and stirred. Like I'm migrating over to um, my recipe is one part paint, one part Floatron, and then water into it until I get to the consistency I want. Um, just because I don't really want to mess around with the silicone. I think I said that right. I, I really butcher that name. Um... So, I think I'm happy with this. I do, I think I am. So, thank you for watching. This is a real quick one, only because I, you know, can't torture right now. <laughs> and I might not be doing another piece. So if I am, I'll be back. If not, I'll see you next time.